Welcome back, awesome Action Toy fans and subscribers. It is time for a big review. Bum, bum, bum. Too big for my screen, my camera. It is the Xiang Tian Mecha, 118 scale Mecha from Joy Toy. Now, this is a big boy. I did look at the box compared to the Fear 2 Mecha, and the box is taller, however, it is thinner. It's also heavier, I'm guessing, because this doesn't have the soft goods like the Fear Mechas, but it does have lots of plastic parts on there. And I will be comparing this to the Fear 2 Mecha later on to look at the size, the actual size difference. So, looks great on the front side. We see some more pictures, which looks absolutely fantastic. I love the fact that this is not artwork, but actually pictures of what you get inside is looking very, very promising. And the back, ugh, we can see the pilot. And we can see the pilot coming out of the Mecha cockpit. And so it looks like it's a front and opening cockpit on this Mecha here. And then on the other side, we have some action poses again. And obviously you can see at the bottom, it's part of their dark source line their dark source range of 118 scale and also 125 scale and maybe even 127 scale um action figures and mechs etc looks really cool so i am going to unbox this and then i'll come back and it's out and set up and we'll get into this review properly so back in a short while so i am back that took a little while to set up because the instructions are not clear on everything and it's quite difficult difficult for him to hold this rifle because of an attachment at the back or rather a sculpted piece at the back which it wasn't there it hold a lot better so i'll show you what's not clear if you look on his forearm here i've got this uh pistol attached and if you look on the sides of his legs here and here these are blades which attach to his forearms so if you look here you see the blades are attached to his forearms, but you can't see the pistols anywhere. Then inside, you can see that it says pistols attached to there. Well, actually, they can't attach to the blades. It's either the blades go there or the pistols go there. There's no either or. Also, these attachments here, these little uh, connectors, you don't have enough to, to attach everything and combine this together. So it took me a while to work that out. Okay, so first impressions looks fantastic. The figure, I think, looks amazing. We'll look at the figure first, then the mech, and we'll go from there. I did have a sneaky peek inside the cockpit, and all I can say is, wow, joy to have knocked out the park with the cockpit. So let's look at the uh, figure first. Close look here. Yeah, let's get a bit of a focus gone. Let's try a little zoom. There we go looks fantastic i love the helmet it's not a head it's just a sorry it is a helmeted head not a uh, helmet that goes over the head the gun looks great great details these parts of these shins are they removable yeah they can remove the armor the knees are one piece looks really really good one of my favorite joy toy figures i have to say i just think it looks really good the only thing i'm not keen on is that joint system on the wrists which i don't like their modern system i understand why they do it because you can get right you can get um articulation in every direction but i don't like the fact you've got to waste your time lining up the joint to bend that way i'd much prefer a system we get in the 40k figures where it's a barbell into the wrist and the barbell into the hand that way is much easier but this way has more range of motion looks really good uh, he does come with two pairs of extra hands. His sidearm is here in his sheath. It's not a tight fit, though, so that can drop out. Be careful. And his weapon looks pretty good. Let's look at the uh, weapons on the mech. So the pistols are like this. They look nice. Quite solid. You can... There we go. Take out the uh, the clip. And put back in he has two the other one as you can see i've put on his uh arm there his rifle which is not the easiest thing to get in him and pose nicely 
would be better. I don't think this red part can come out. No, that feels like it's like it's fixed in. If that that was not there, he could hold it a lot easier. Again, the clip does come out, but there's no detailing in the clip like we had with the uh, pistols. Pretty cool, and there's a removable and articulated handle here. It's a very solid piece of plastic. Now, this is one of the connectors I just put in because maybe you could connect it to his back, but there's no hole in his back because you've got his uh, big size, size, his sigh there. But it's a great looking rifle, big, heavy piece of plastic. I like that. Okay, then he has the blades for his arms. I will take this pistol off. I will take this. Or try to take that connector off. There we go. They can go up on his legs here if he's not using them, or he can just hopefully without breaking my uh, brand new mech. They do come off, I hasten to add. In fact, you know what? I'm going to knock my camera over, so I'm going to pause this, take it off, and come back. So let's do this. Here we go. So obviously, I've taken them off his thighs, put them onto his forearms now. They are pretty cool. When you put them on the thighs, they are actually quite tight. And I've taken these uh, big sort of sickle side off his uh, back there. Very, very nice. And then the weapon from the back. Two of these bad boys here. Very, very nice. And yes, the blade does swing open. And you can attach together via a connector to the bottom here. Now bear in mind, these connectors are actually really quite a stiff fit. You may not want to push them in all the way. Because then you might use your teeth or something to get them out again. Then that weapon there is just ridiculous because that is, bear in mind it's not pushed in all the way, but that is way bigger than him. So nice weapons, very, very good. Okay, let's take a closer look at the uh, mech, and after that we'll do back to the figure for articulation and the mech for articulation too. Let me just put these weapons to the side. I'll keep his, his sort of forearm blades, knives, daggers, whatever on him for the time being. So bear in mind he's so big, this might be a bit awkward, but let me see. Boop, 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 boop. Shall I try a zoom approach? Or maybe come closer. Let's try come closer first of all. So, he does look good. Legs aren't too skinny. He's got a strange looking hips, like, you know, child bearing hips. Sort of a nice thin upper body, which or waist section with trunk, which I quite like. It adds a lot of contrast. The body is pretty cool. The um, chest and the head area. The arms are okay. The legs are okay. The feet are really nice. Big feet. Loss of balance. Back looks pretty cool too. You can see that he's armoured up. Very, very nice. And these are the arms that you can articulate for attaching the, uh, the weapons. Very, very nice looking. In fact, I will say this now. If you are into 1.6, this would work really well as a 1.6 robot or android. They've done, they've done a good job in sort of masking it as a mech if you're into 1.6, but also looking mech enough if you're not into 1.6. You want to use it for your 1.18 and so forth. Very, very nice looking, I'd have to say. Does that one move? Maybe. I think maybe no. Oh, it does. Fantastic. Okay, so I'm jumping heads. Okay. So let's go to our figure. Let's look at his articulation. I'll move the camera down a bit and then we'll go back to the uh, back to the mech. Okay, so let's get this a bit straighter. Okay, so here he is. So his head is a left, right, up, down, small, side to side. Arms are all the way quite stiff. That might break that side, okay. All the way around, but his uh, left hand here, left arm there, goes moving now. Is a bit on the stiff side, but we'll go all the way around. Outwards, not expect. see his pistol dropped out. Not expecting great things due to these big shoulder pads, but he does get around about 180, which is a surprise. Good job, Joy Toy. 
biceps will depend where you bend his arm from but generally he's going to get a 90 degree bend which is what we're looking for 90 degrees or greater trunk is hidden under the vest so you're going to lose so much from the vest but his forwards backwards with his body's good side to side is a tiny bit and he can turn from the waist and the trunk it looks like hips pretty damn good all things considered forwards is okay backwards is not bad it'll start to go out though there is a thigh twist there is no boot turn he has a very good tippy toe let me put that down you can't see him oh. okay very good tippy toe his dorsiflexation his michael jackson is you know he gets full dorsiflexation with these with these um pads on and he's still standing up so it's pretty poor He's just about falling over. He has the uh, toe articulation that we've come to know and love on Joy Toy. And his feet should have a small swivel in and a swivel out. And on his hands, it's that joint where they have direction in or movement in all directions, but you must align the joint first. All in all, pretty good. I think it's a fantastic looking figure. Put that gun back in the holster. Mech will be a bit more difficult to show. So let me raise the camera up again. Boop, 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 boop. Okay. So let's have a look. So start at the top. So on the back, these are articulated arms. Can we see that? So just about for where you attach your big weapons. The camera or the eye at the top here can... Yeah, turn both ways the eye and the head can turn um let's take a look at the, the uh, cockpit i didn't show that earlier the cockpit looks fantastic let's have a look in lovely brown there look at the coloring on the inside can we make that out really cool even on the inside here look at the coloring control panel you've got like a Sort of a map there very very nice so both sides of the cockpit articulated they open up i don't think it matters which one goes first for closing and opening or does it it doesn't appear to uh arms these are fantastic all the way around on a very satisfying ratchet shoulders are can be taken off the joints but you don't get very far because of the way it's uh got the attachment in there the shoulder pads the poldons but he does have a phenomenal check this out look at that he can roll his shoulder all the way forwards fantastic there is no bicep twist that i can see which is oh and there might be is there one from there as compared to the other arm i don't want to snap anything I'm not sure if there's a bicep twist here or not, and I'm using quite a bit of force, and it's not turning. Now, I'm not sure, not because it's, it's not turning, because they aren't aligned straight with the corner of here. So it makes me think there is, but when I try and move it, there's nothing. And they both seem to be at similar angles, so I might be wrong there. So maybe there is, maybe there isn't. He has his bicep bend is good take off the knife he'll get much more than 90 degrees and then wrist is on a ball and a joint so you move it you align it and the fingers and thumb are articulated waist oops pad came off or pulled waist so backwards and forwards are good there's a side to side he can turn um these part on the hips are articulated So hips, almost a full split. With a satisfying but scary click noise. Uh, forwards and backwards will be a full split. There's no fight twist. 
there is a double kneecap but you're still only going to get around just over 90 degrees and then feet there's no turn that I can see, but there is a, a very stiff nah, inwards and outwards, very stiff. Uh, the tippy toe. Is pretty damn good. I mean, look at that. The Dorsey flexation. Is pretty cool as well. In fact, I want to double check what I said about there being a swivel on the feet. I'm not entirely sure there is. It looks like it should be. But that's quite a lot of force and the feet are not turning. So I'm not going to force that for camera. But you, if you're going to try that with yours, just be very careful. It's a great looking mech, really decent articulation. The feet, the uh, ankle and feet joints are stiff, which is what we want, so it's not going to fall over easily. This is one of the things with the uh, fear mech. Fell over way too easily. It does look good, and that shoulder roll is absolutely fantastic. Okay, so the next thing to do is open up the cockpit. Let's try and fit the pilot in. Then after that, we'll do a comparison with the pilot and with the mech with other things. So I'm going to stick him inside and I'll be back in an instant for you guys. Okay, he's inside, but it's not the best fit. It's a bit narrow and he's like sort of crumpled up when you try and close it. And the way they've got the control stick on the door, obviously he can't hold that when you put him in. What's well, very difficult to make him hold it, but he can fit, but it's not the best fit. It's way too narrow for his... Uh, for his broadness and you see how his head has gone down so he can so he can close the uh the top on him there but he can fit inside it okay let's ah, get him out and let's go for a size comparison this will be interesting we'll do several things to compare first we'll look at our actual figure i think i th again i'm saying it i think it's a great looking figure um which the hand joints were not these type, but hey ho, can't, winners can't be a, or you know, uh, can't beggars can't be choosers. Sorry. Okay, so here he is. Get him to stand up first. And let's come down. Okay, first I will use a Marvel Universe Ninja. Now these are quite big, these Marvel figures here. We get him standing up first off camera. Looks like he's got one leg longer than the other. Okay, get him to stand. Is that standing? Close enough. Now he's going to lean over slightly, but he is a little bit bigger. But they do scale well. Next, let me use a, another Joy Toy 40k figure. Obviously, these guys are big, and their backpacks make them even bigger. And you can see that he towers above his toy company brother. So he's at least a head bigger. If I take this down, you'll get the camera down on the lower level. you get a better idea of the actual size difference between the two. You can see these are much, much larger figure. Okay, let's look at the actual mech. I'll take the pilot away. Let me zoom out. Boop, 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 boop. First, I will use a vehicle, a Lanard ATK vehicle, which is a fantastic vehicle I reviewed recently. And it scales well for 118. And you can see that there is a big difference in size it's about two and a half times tall or approaching three times as tall as this very well scaled 118 scale vehicle here let's go to a 
the fear mecca the fear two mecca who i just took out of it uh before this video starts now bear in mind i've not got all his padding on his legs so he's looked like he skipped a leg day get the stand up we can see that the fear two is slightly shorter and not as broad um, the fear two or all the fear max suffer from their knee joint sorry their ankle and feet joints being too loose this new one this new one here doesn't suffer from that this Xingtian mecha is pretty damn good okay then lastly we'll go back to Warhammer 40k we use the Invicta warsuit which is not going to be as tall but it's going to be so broad in comparison ah! I'll tell you it's actually taller if you include the antenna but the actual mecha is shorter It's a great aura Mac. I think there's room for improvement, you know, making, uh, having a thigh swivel if possible. If there is a bicep swivel, having it a lot stiff, a lot looser, sorry, not as stiff as it is. But the things that they have done, particularly with this shoulder roll here, is absolutely amazing. But why can't I twist that? Oh, it does. I tell you that. Okay. So there is a limited bicep swivel with a nice click. The ankles, shall I try out some here? Okay, let me try this. The ankles don't snap on me. Okay, ankles too, woo! But very, very stiff. Um, but the thighs, I think they're, might be. Okay, and the thighs as well. So I'm going to take it all back. Great articulation on this, but some of the joints are incredibly stiff. So it's going to make you feel a bit scared trying to pose your brand new expensive toy. Well worth getting, I would say. Okay, this is Awesome Action Toys. I am signing out saying please like, share and subscribe. Check out my videos, We've got over a thousand on the channel, and please smash that notification icon. Stay up to date, latest news, reviews, videos, etc. Stay happy, keep collecting. Bye bye.